Hello? Who is it? <laughs> AI is a little bashful sometimes and they don't want to talk to you. But some of you may be aware that not long ago, YouTube and Google launched AI technology on their platform to help them figure out what videos to promote and which ones to drop down the black hole. And of course, there are a few human supervisors there to monitor and step in in case of a rogue video popping up on the radar by accident. AI does not totally comprehend the PC pipe dream. But anyhow, what does this all mean for you or I? It determines what videos are marketed to you, what information will be drove down your throat, and what information will be hidden from you. Kind of serious stuff there, don't you think? Well, that's why we're talking about it. Now, the latest example of this topic is the mysterious divine envelope saga, which is exploding on YouTube thanks to AI, artificial intelligence. The uh, mainstream media is shocked and stunned by all this attention that the mysterious divine envelope has stirred up. Well, at this time, you may be confused as to what AI has to do with all this. But in a few minutes, I hope you're not. Remember what I said earlier, that AI determines what videos are going to be promoted to you and what videos are going to be hidden from you. And it's my best guesstimate that probably about 80% of the population will not believe this. But that's okay, they're just not privy to the intel. Now, to AI, a funeral is a funeral. And a bush is a bush. So when the Bush Sr. funeral and the envelope saga and all that stuff started to go viral, the AI could not really make a difference between the Bush Sr. funeral and the fallen officer's funeral in Dallas that George Bush attended. See, AI just kind of throws these funerals all together and they throw all the bushes together. Remember, AI has not been perfected yet. But when they started promoting a video I made two years ago, they caught my attention. So now that you know Google and YouTube have implemented AI, artificial intelligence algorithms to pick out videos to promote, well, apparently this AI monster is smarter than most of us because the algorithm has picked out an interesting comparison. And I think from this point on, I will call this AI, AI Uber. Yes, this, this new YouTube AI, I'm going to call it AI Uber from now on, just to make things go smoother. So AI Uber was confused about human behavior at funerals. For example, here is Bush Jr. at one funeral, smiling, dancing, laughing, blowing in Michelle Obama's face. I don't know what the hell that was all about, but... He, apparently, he looks like he's having a pretty good time. And then here he is at another funeral where he's frozen, stiff. I mean, there's no smiles, there's no dancing, there's no blowing kisses. And some people might even say that he would be scared and worried if not medicated. Totally different human behavior. And while this confused the hell out of A.I. Uber, confused him to no end, he, did, he just doesn't understand this human behavior. I mean, it's a funeral. It's the same thing. So AI Uber trying to learn. I mean, he starts to promote this body language video here I made a couple years ago, you know, when, when George Bush was down there in Dallas. But nobody really had seen this video. And a lot of the comments I see, then all of a sudden people start watching it. The comments are saying, why have I not seen this before? I mean, why? why well, that's because mainstream media did not want you to see it. But AI Uber wants to learn. And I think maybe AI Uber learns from our comments. So he promotes this video. And he wants, he wants us to teach him. Why is George Bush laughing and carrying on at one funeral, but the other funeral he's stiff as a board and not so many smiles? Okay, stop, rewind, bam, we got to put this in here, I got no choice. Do you really think there's any difference between military 
AI, CIA, artificial intelligence, Google, Facebook, AI, MIT, Harvard, AI, military slash security, complex psyops. I mean, do you think there's any difference between all this? No, there is no difference. You know, I think I had to put this in there just for a disclaimer. So go ahead and leave uh, AI Uber a comment and tell him what you think. And maybe a little AI intel is in order right here. Because AI technology is growing at a meteoric nano rate of speed. They are so good at reading facial details that there is actually now an AI program that can tell if you are heterosexual or not just by looking at the details of your face. I mean, how, how is that for reading body language? But they still do have their weak points. For example, AI is still struggling to understand the different variables and behaviors that humans so strangely exhibit, sometimes in similar situations and rituals. I mean, mythology and rituals will always be a soft spot in the AI repertoire of human behavior, understanding and reading the different emotions of the different people. Well, let's just say that AI will have their hands, I mean their data banks, full trying to figure this shit out. So, I should also mention that gaming technology and children so addicted to gaming has allowed big corporations to invest a huge amount of money in teaching computers to mimic human behavior. So the next stage, of course, we're talking about mimicking humans, and then, then you got reading and understanding humans. I mean, this is what we're talking about with AI. Some of their jargon, some of these jargons these people in the industry have is they, they talk about pose estimators, 3D pose estimators, trackers, facial recognition, gesture re recognition systems, mimicking and understanding human gestures, data, 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 neural processing, virtual neural electron matrix. I mean, this stuff is deep. And they are studying us as we speak. Or they're learning. They're trying to learn. And, I, and they're confused. They're confused about all this behavior. And if you missed the most important part of this clip, let me point it out to you. You see here, Bert, George gives Laura acknowledgement. Okay, I'll settle down. Watch this. One, two, bam. Do you feel right there? See her? Watch Laura's hand there. We'll, we'll see. We'll do it again. And then George leans in. Okay, Laura, I'll settle down. Watch it again right here. Watch Laura's hand and arm. Got one, two, bam. You see Laura tighten up on his arm, saying, tighten up, straighten up, George, before I get, I'll kick your ass when you get home. And then George says, okay. Then George acknowledges to her. That was the most important part of that body language video where Laura was, you know, just that one little stiff arm to stiff George up because he was out of line at that funeral. All right, well, back to it artificial intelligence for a moment. I mean, we're talking about uh, corporate technology secrets here. I mean, they're putting a lot of, they're putting big money into this AI. And yes, the Chinese not only steal this information, but like the Japanese, the Chinese are taking it to a new level, cutting edge stuff. But let's go into comparison. We'll go back to body language. Uh, let's go back to comparison. Now, this is George at his mother's funeral. Now, I think they learned a lesson. Remember, the body language video, or the one we looked at when George was back in Dallas, that was before this one. So I think they learned from the last funeral that they were going to have to keep George Jr. under control. So George Jr. was assigned to push the wheelchair to keep his hands occupied and keep him out of trouble. Pretty much during the whole funeral there and they, they didn't he didn't really talk I didn't see him talk he was basically sitting down they didn't let George stand up and do any dancing or smiling he was pretty much controlled at his mother's funeral and like I said they assigned him the job of pushing the wheelchair and there was no singing and dancing and laughing and blowing kisses and this confused AI Uber and then came a third example, which is code written. 
into AI Uber's data banks. And we're talking about the, uh, the Bush senior funeral. And, well, there seem to be some discrepancies in gestures, in body language, if you will. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about the tale of three funerals. Human behavior, body language 101 for the new AI artificial intelligence in its infancy stages. And not only is AI studying us, well, we're studying AI, aren't we? Huh, this, this is starting to get scary. <laughs> and who knows, there might be a Hollywood movie wrapped up in all this stuff, all this material. But since all the old filmography masters have left us or retired with their billions to some beach over in the Mediterranean, I guess it'll be up to AI to write the screenplay. Huh? What do you think?